<laughs> next round is trending. Uh, this round, each of our guests are going to perform a short virtual set on one of the many trending topics and news items of the month. And I'm going to give points to one of them uh, at the end of it. And we're going to have Sully next. Sully, who's going to be talking about immigration, uh, which is almost as important as meal deals, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, take it away. All right. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention to the news, the UK government uh, have, rather predictably, announced uh, more restrictions on immigration, uh, this time uh, affecting people uh, who are going to be on student visas. They'll no longer be able to bring dependents with them. Uh, and also people applying for asylum will now, in majority cases, no longer get face-to-face -face interviews. Uh, they'll have to do it all by written application, which, of course, is fine as long as when you're fleeing to the UK, uh, you do so uh, already completely uh, literate in the English language. And if you don't think uh, this is going to affect you, uh, the truth is that if you pay attention to the news, that immigration restrictions are going up everywhere around the world right now. I've even run into them on a trip back to New Zealand, which is weird because I am from New Zealand. Uh, <laughs> Admittedly, it wasn't New Zealand immigration uh, that uh, I ran into problems with. It was actually in transit uh, through the US. So I had a very strange exchange with a rather over-enthusiastic American immigration officer who was adamant, absolutely adamant, that because I live in the UK and because I was traveling to New Zealand, and because I was going to be working while as a New Zealander, if you call stand-up comedy actual work, that <laughs> I definitely, absolutely needed a work visa for New Zealand. And I'm like, mate, have you heard me fucking speak? <laughs> <laughs> Are you honestly telling me that a New Zealander traveling to New Zealand on a New Zealand passport needs a visa in order to enter New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't budget. Eventually, I just said to him, look, if you just let me on the plane, what's the worst that could happen? He looked at me dead in the eyes and said, well, they might deport you. <laughs> the fucking where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, honestly, mate, if when I reach New Zealand, the New Zealand government decide to deport me to New Zealand, I'm going to fucking let him. Because <laughs> that's where I was going. <laughs> Eventually, he went and got a supervisor. And you know what? The honest truth is, I would quite like to have a pint with his supervisor. I reckon we get on like a house on fire. Uh, despite the fact I've never actually met the man. Uh, and uh, I haven't even heard him speak. I have, however, <laughs> seen him call another human being a fucking idiot. <laughs> in his face. It was kind of like a three-step process. He kind of squinted, pulled his head back, and then cocked it to one side. And I can only assume that my immigration officer must have seen this look before. Because as soon as his supervisor went, my immigration officer just turned to me and went, enjoy your flight, sir. <laughs> 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 it's amazing. <laughs> 